What's up guys welcome to 46th Ruby tutorial this is Shrakes from Smartherd in this tutorial I will teach you the codes of inheritance in Ruby in the last tutorial we discussed about the fundamentals and concept of inheritance in Ruby now let's start our coding let us define a class let's say person now what comes to your mind when we talk about a person let's say name age or features like that let's define our variables let's say name yeah age then trait like this yeah now let us define another class let's say sportsman now in between person and sportsman what is all common sportsman also has a name age and trait so we don't have to write it again here we can inherit the class person here like this smaller than sign person we can give a space here also no props yeah now what is extra in the class sportsman the sportsman has a sports which he plays so let us define that ATT or accessor this will provide us a getter and setter like this let's say sports that he plays yeah now let us leave all this as it is now let us create an object of sportsman let's say sp equal to sportsman dot new right now in order to access name age and trade we can access all this element of the class person with the help of the object of the class sportsman also as we saw in the last tutorial now let's write sp dot age let's say age equal to 20 sp dot name equal to let's say what's a jack yeah let's sp dot now let's say sports sports equal to cricket yeah now let's save it oops I have to print it also let's inspect this object SP how to inspect it let's write put as SP dot inspect yeah now save it and execute it here we go when we is when we inspect our object SP we get the following things SP contains age equal to 20 instance variable name equal to jack instance variable sports equal to cricket so sp.age equal 20 is actually a setter and we are just inspecting this object sp which is going to give us the contents of this object sp so our this very simple example taught us the syntax of the inheritance and taught us how to reuse the codes in another class using inheritance and how to inspect the elements like this so in the next tutorial I will increase the complexity of the coding so stay tuned and catch you guys in next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe. This is Shrakes from Smartherd signing off.